Hey, how's it going traders? Welcome back to another video. Uh, my name is Jay and in this video we will be taking a look at the IBS Hunter that we will be using for the signals and more likely than not the Palm account um, moving forward that I'll be trading on a live portfolio and if you guys think it's something interesting you could always follow the Palm account. Now we would be trading all the symbols using this strategy on the daily chart so as you can see on the chart right now um, each candle is one day and the distance between each line is a month right now this is one of the back tests that I will do for each symbol now I'll do two back tests one of a more aggressive um, setting and one of a more conservative setting more likely than not i would find some middle ground that would keep the risk low and also have decent return on the account itself now for each one of the symbols if you saw the video before you would have seen i had a super smoother in the actual um algo itself and i will be using that on every single um trading instrument now with all the super smoother it made some ridiculous amounts i think it did like uh, eight thousand percent but the drawdown was extremely high being somewhere around 70 percent and because we are doing this for the long term we will try to keep risk as low as possible while you know having a relatively decent profit factor so if you see on the screen um you'll see the balance and the equity this back there started with a thousand dollars back on the 1st of um, January 2018 and we'll be testing all, all the way until July 2023. Uh, we also have the dynamic lot size that you can see is changing based on the account balance and you will see the IBS value to the top. Now I made a slight modification, you will see it no longer turn into red uh, like last video and that is because we are only doing long only trades so it only needs to give that signal uh, when it flashes to green so if you notice there are large periods of time where there are no trades and this is um, true to the last video as well and this is because the strategy itself it filters out all the bad trades when the market is in a downtrend so even though that is the case we could take a look at the report and we will see where we are the equity curve doesn't look too bad and if we look at the report we have a 480 percent growth with a 4.48 percent profit factor and there was only about 25 percent drawdown right profitable trades is uh 79.35 so it's not doing too bad. As I said, this is a more aggressive setting. I would do one with a more conservative setting and then we would find somewhere uh, in the middle ground that would be the final setting for the NASDAQ moving forward. So that is it there for now guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Follow the channel as we go through this process in setting up this portfolio. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.